What is up guys and girls, in today's video I'll be going over some of the best GPTs that I've found to help you create SEO optimized blog posts and articles, so let's go ahead and get started. I found this GPT in the GPT library on ChatGPT. You do need to have a GPT Plus account in order to use it, but I think it's well worth it. And once you're in the GPT section, you just search up the keyword in which you're going after. So we're trying to find a blog post generator. So I've searched a blog posts and let's see what pops up. So we have a couple of different blog posts here, um, generators, but as we can see, they're not very well used. And that is usually a good indicator if they're good or not so i like to try and use um, blog post writers or use gpts that have a lot of use cases so for example this um this gpt has been used over ten thousand times so we can assume that this would be a pretty decent gpt to use so first off this is the gpt and i'm going to start by telling it i want you to write me a blog post on how to start an ai SaaS company in 2023 before it starts writing, it asks us to provide the company or the blog in which we're writing this blog post for. We can provide a link or just describe it so we can better understand the audience. I like this a lot because it kind of customizes the article. It doesn't just go ahead and write a generic article. It's taking in more information. And the more information that you feed the AI, the better the output will be. So I give it some more information. I told it that this article is from AI SaaS blog posts and the audience are very young creative entrepreneurs so you can write in a casual and easy to read tone so now it's going to ask me to discuss the goal of the article so you mentioned about writing how to start an ai SaaS company would you like to focus on any specific aspects of starting such a company like identify market leads funding strategies tech challenges team building or something else or do you need help refining the topic together let's define this so we can pr proceed to the next step so again this is really really good because we're just fine-tuning the article we're giving more information to the AI so we can write on exactly what we would like it to write about. I've told it that we want to write a complete guide on this topic that anyone can benefit from. So it's understood to structure a blog post effectively. Let's consider addressing these key questions. So it's added in some key questions. What are the current trends? How can one identify and validate market need? What are the foundational steps in setting up an AI SaaS company? And so on. Do these questions align with your vision? Yes, they align. So this is a really nice um, GPT. I would definitely recommend it because most GPTs will just spit out the full article without ask, actually asking you these questions, validating what you want your topic to be about and fine tuning, um, fine tuning the actual output. So I like that it's taken some time to ask us some more questions. It's also used Bing to do some research on this topic. So we get information re regarding cloud computing, security and AI SaaS, mobility and emerging markets in SaaS, micro SaaS trend, customer retention, churn, SaaS market consolidation, and so on. So I guess what it's doing, it's going to take all that information and it's going to use that within the article. So now we're going to have more up-to-date information within our blog post rather than having generic content uh, and just general content about that topic. So this summary encapsulates key trends and opportunities in the AI SaaS industry. Do you have any other additional data or content that you want to include in the post? No, I do not. So now it wants us to provide an article for which you would like them to mirror the style and the tone. So we need to send a URL. So simply what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy over our title. I'm going to head over to Google and I'm going to paste this in. I'm going to find one of the top ranked blog posts for that specific keyword. So let's go ahead and copy this one from shno.co. This seems to be a pretty decent article here. And then we're going to pop that into chat GPT. So we paste that in and then what it's most likely going to do, it's going to use Bing. It's going to read the tone. It's going to read the style of writing, the format, and then it's going to emulate that within the article. Okay, so it's went ahead and read that URL. So we get the tone, we get the structure, the content strategy, engagement, length and depth, and so on. So do we have any other specific instructions for the blog post or any call to actions that need to be included? No, we do not. Now, as we can see, it's creating the blog post outline, starting an AI SaaS company in 2023. We've got an intro, current trends, identifying and validating market need, setting up your SaaS AI company, developing AI tech for SaaS applications, building a strong team and company culture, marketing, and a conclusion. Okay, so I think that this is a pretty decent outline. So yes, continue. Okay, so once you say yes, then it'll start 
writing the first section along with creating a suitable image. So it seems as though it's going to write each section by section, which will allow you to get a much larger and longer article. But then also, as you can see here, it is creating an image as well. So you get an image in which you can use for your um, blog post cover or just within your article. And then you also, as you can see here, you also get the introduction for that specific topic. So once you say continue, then it should go ahead and continue to the second section, which as you can see here is the current trends and opportunities in AI SaaS. Okay, so this is the second section and then I'm just gonna go ahead and click continue. So you just repeat that process until the end of the article and you should get a pretty long article because this is one section here. Let's go ahead and see how long this was in terms of a word count. So this was about 400 words just for that specific section. And our intro was already about, I wanna say about 200 words. So we're already at 600 words and we've only written two sections of the article and we have eight sections in total. So this will be a very, very long article. Once you continue to follow the method, You, as you can see, you'll be able to get images. You'll also be able um, to get different sections of that article. As you can see, it's very well formatted. There's nice list. I would like to have a table and just kind of maybe changing up the style or the format of the content because the format of the content looks very similar. It seems to be a long, a large amount of text blobs. I would like some bolded content, some more list style content, maybe some tables. But overall, I would say that this is a pretty good article. Again, all you'd have to do is hit continue until you finish the article and you go ahead and pop that article onto your website or your blog post. So this is the conclusion of the article. We get a meta title and a meta description. And um, the article probably isn't as long as it could have been because I just told it to continue um, until the conclusion. So I think it kind of made the article a little bit shorter rather than if I were to do it section by section. But overall, as you can see, this is the full article. It is about 2,100 words, but again, I think you can probably get this up to 3,000 words if you just went ahead and told it to continue creating the article section by section. But as you can see, you get some nice images here. This is an AI SaaS image. This is a 202, I think this is supposed to be 2023. So you can always go ahead and edit this on Canva if you would like to um, edit any imperfections out of the images. But as you can see, you get some nice images, you get a nice blog post, and you get a nice title and meta description. All you have to do is follow the instructions from the GPT. So I think that this is one of the better GPTs when it comes to generating um, articles and blog posts. So I will definitely go ahead and leave a link for this GPT in the description below. I didn't create it, so um, I'm not trying to take credit for the GPT, but I think it's really good. So I'm going to go ahead and share it with you guys. If you guys do decide to use the GPT, let me know in the comments below what your results were like and if you actually enjoyed using the GPT and if the output quality was good. As always, I hope that you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, let it be known by giving us a big thumbs up and subscribing to the channel if you haven't already. Until next time, stay well.